Hi everybody and thanks for joining me and in this video we're going to talk about a couple of new features that have been added to Google Meet over the last month. Now you may have noticed in your Google for Education account that when you engage in a Google meeting with users you now have a new icon at the top right. This is your activities icon and currently I have two users in this meeting so we can see how some of these new features work but if you click on the activities icon you're going to notice that you now have breakout rooms polls, and Q&A. We're going to take a look at each of these briefly so that you can see how to use them and you're going to find out that they're very user friendly. Now the first one is breakout rooms. Let's say for instance you're in a situation where maybe you're in a virtual meeting with other teachers in your district and you need to have breakout sessions by teacher group for a PLC or maybe you're teaching a math class and you need to group kids accordingly and have them work on projects or work out problems um, in specific groups. All you have to do is click on set up breakout rooms and you can choose how many rooms you want in your session and you can name your rooms. So let's say for instance on breakout one I'm going to call this math teachers and on breakout two we're going to call this science teachers and we're going to have two groups of teachers working on PLC discussion for instance. Now if I already have users in the group like I do here I can actually drag users into a specific breakout session so that whenever I open the rooms, they'll automatically be moved into the proper session. So I've already done that and I've got two different people in each session. And if I click open rooms, it's gonna come up with a message on the user screen that says you've been invited to join a session. And the session that's gonna be listed is the one that you've specifically been assigned to. And when you're ready, you just join. And so now both are in separate breakout sessions. And if they click on the activities menu, they'll see which session they're in. And if they choose to leave that session and join another one, they can. So for instance, I'm currently in the science teacher session. If I want to leave, it'll take me back to the main call. And then if I want to join the math session, I can see joined it and I'm also in the call with the other users that were already there. So this is a pretty simple tool to use. Uh, you notice that you have a lot of control over who gets put where, which is great when you're working with students. And it's very easy that when you're finished, all you have to do is click close rooms and they'll be given 30 seconds. Notice that the rooms are closing. And then at that point, when all the rooms are closed, they'll be returned to the main call. So it's a pretty simple feature to use. I'm going to go ahead and click leave to get out of this room and go back to the main call anyway. And now we're going to take a look at a couple of other features. So let's take a look now at polls. Now a polling feature is a nice way to just throw a question up on the screen so that students or teachers can vote on a specific issue. In this case, if I wanted to just throw a question out there, I just click polls and then click start a poll. And maybe my question is something simple as uh, which is better? And I'll ask uh, which is better, dark chocolate or milk chocolate? Okay, and I'm gonna save that question and maybe I wanna create another poll question. I can do that as well. Uh, but when I'm ready, all I have to do is click launch. And now, although you can't see this, the other users can actually on activities polls has been highlighted and when they click on polls they'll see that question and so i'm going to have the other user vote on that question and you can see that when they voted um, and they click vote then their response will show up up here now if i want to show the poll results to everyone in the room i just click this option here and they can see how the rest of the class has voted or I can keep that turned off if I want to keep it anonymous and reveal it later. When I'm finished, all I have to do is click end the poll and then close out this feature and we're back in the meeting. So very simple tools, uh, but still very functional. Now that's two of three. Let's look at the third one. If I go back up to activities, 
The other option is Q&A. Now, you might be wondering why is there a Q&A option when you already have a chat option available in Google Meet? And the reason that this is available is sometimes in a meeting, you want to have greater control over what's said in the meeting. Uh, for instance, you may want to turn off chat so that students don't just say anything and everything they want to say while you're trying to lecture, especially during distance learning. So if I can turn that one off, but still have the ability to do a Q&A session when I want to, then that's what this feature is for. And with Q&A, it's off until you choose to use it. And then when I click turn on Q&A, it says Q&A is now open, ask a question. And so students, all they have to do is click ask a question. So I'm gonna do that on my other user and um, ask a question of the group. Okay, and when they post the question, it'll show up for the group. Now, if I choose, I can make this question visible or hidden. Um, I can also, once I've answered that question verbally, I can click marked as answered so that the rest of the group knows that I've already answered that question. Or if other users in the class wanna say, yeah, I wanna know that answer too, they can click, click the upvote icon so that I know that there are other users that have that same question. Now the best part about this is when you're finished with Q&A, all you have to do to shut everything down is check this switch and now it says Q&A is now closed. They can still see the exi existing questions until you delete them. And if you have a student that posts something inappropriate, you have control to remove that. So when you're done, just click the X to get out of Q&A and you're back into your meeting. Hopefully these new features give you some insight into how Google Meet can be more fully utilized as a teaching tool. And I for one have to say that breakout rooms is probably the best of these three features and it's the one that most of our teachers in our district have been waiting for. So, well hopefully this helps you and if you have any other questions, please uh, visit my blog at www.techiecoach.com or find my channel on YouTube. Thanks for joining me.